Hello and welcome back to the Watchman channel. Thanks for joining me, friend. Let's get to this word from our dear sister Diana Larkin, Charleston, South Carolina. Hot and heavy. I am coming after your enemies hot and heavy. Their carefully planned speeches, filled with lies and deceit, they will not have the effect that they have always had in hoodwinking the people. Instead of being received, their speeches will only get them into hot water as I uncover the truth they are trying to keep hidden with their lies. Your enemy is used to bring the heat of threats and intimidation and fear to make the people cower and to be compliant. I am bringing my fire to burn up every new plot they try to launch. Your continued pushback on the darkness, your refusal to bow to their schemes, it has opened portals for me to launch fire missiles. They will explode and burn up their evil plans. Your prayers empower my host to become the rods of God. The arrogant elite, who thought they could use the heavy hand of the law to defame and defeat those standing for righteousness, they are about to feel the heavy blow of my hammer of judgment and justice. I do not just make an attempt to stop injustice, oh no. I am going to annihilate it with the blow of my hammer of justice. My heavy hammer will expose all their crookedness and evil. They will find themselves being the ones on trial for bribery, for corruption, for perversion, and for treason. Keep in your ranks, army of light. Do not allow petty divisions or distractions to cause you to fall out of your place in the battle. Call in this season of my great rescue and watch me come in hot and heavy. Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord Jesus, that you would do this work. You would do this work, Father. May this word be true on heaven as it is, on earth, rather, as it is in heaven. <laughs> Lord, I thank you, Jesus, that you are our vindication. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you will have the revenge. We don't have to seek it out because you'll bring it. You'll do a thing, Father. Friend, let's unite together today. Let's make an agreement across time and technology that we are going to pray for our nation. We're going to pray for our families. That we are going to launch those missiles that will explode and burn up all of the plans of the enemy. I thank you, Lord. This is the second or third word that we've heard about how powerful our prayers are. Lord Jesus, may it finally sink in. May we finally feel that heart revelation, Father. And may our prayers accomplish much. In your mighty name, amen.